What's going on guys? As per usual, it's raining here in Washington. <laughs> I feel like whenever I film it's always raining, but hey, love the rain. Uh, so today Matt and I are going to the hop right now because Miguel is in town. Um, he drove up from Las Vegas, the torture room, and he's gonna be doing some treatment on us this afternoon. So Matt's gonna go first and then I'm going. Uh, we haven't had treatment done since when? It's been a while, right? Yeah, for me, it's like three months. Yeah, I, I went down in January. I had some work done in January. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. He just like honestly beats the shit out of us in a good way. It's like the ART aggressive type massage. Um, we're going to work on some legs today and back. What is he going to do for you? Tight chest, tight lats, tight traps. Universal gotcha. problem. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am super tight in the upper body. Yeah. Literally, I had an elbow tendonitis. The tubes has hurt this all before, but yeah. I had elbow tendonitis bad for 10 plus years. I have zero elbow tendonitis. Yeah. Literally the day I met Miguel. Freaking incredible. Same. And I don't think you guys know this, but like... And I've been to four or five chiropractors yeah, I remember. and two physical therapists. When I first met you, you were yeah. getting the grastinine done, but yeah. it just wasn't as... Never worked. No. it's Everyone just works on the elbow. It's not the elbow. It's not the elbow. It's, it's all the tie-ins to the lats and the chest, the tightness there. Right. Yeah. Anyway. Um, hey, look at this side note. My wife's hair matches. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I got it, babe. That's Sexy! Why I got <laughs> And real quick, this uh, C4 Skittles, it's like a 9 out of 10. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, Starburst uh, ones, the, Skitt or the Skittles and Starburst ones, really good. The mm -hmm. C4, yeah. Zero calories, fasting approved for me. Yeah. God, it's so good. Other than that, Blue Rockstar. Um, so... How was your first week post-show into your off-season? Really good. I feel good. I, I mean, I'm in a good headspace now. I'm ready for my off season. Calories are starting to increase here. Uh, carbs are getting on the higher level now. Fats are low. That's pretty common with uh, coming out of a show. Uh, just for me, uh, you know, fats really make you hold water and the, in high quantities, it just doesn't digest well. So I'm on the lower side of fats. If you follow me on uh, Instagram stories, you'll see that I've put my concoction bowl, the John Meadows bowl back in, but we aren't doing real peanut butter. We're doing uh whoa. <laughs> I would have had that accident on video. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even need that state farm camera. Yeah, it's right, like yeah, all yeah. in here. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So like I'm using powdered peanut butter. It's uh, like one carb for two tablespoons and then like 80% less fat. They basically take all the fat out of peanut butter. Yeah, I said yeah. that wrong. Sorry. One fat. Yeah. Like a couple carbs. Yeah. Um, and it's really... The, the consistency in the, the butter bowl is there. So I love it. It's really good. I miss that thing. God. Uh, but yeah, like I'm really excited to be going into this off season now. Uh, we got legs tomorrow. Now, I just... I know what I need to do and... I'm just gonna shut up and do it. Like, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna do it. I don't care what anyone has to say. The blinders are on, and I'm just focused on myself. I'm ready to unleash. The freak. The freak. <laughs> Someone's gonna like stop by that. And <laughs> I'm steering you away from mutant. Yeah. One, I don't want my wife to be a mutant. <laughs> I don't want her. Mad respect for Nick Walker. <laughs> I, mad respect. That guy is a freaking beast. Yeah. I don't need my wife looking like a mutant. <laughs> but a freak. Yeah. Just that V taper. Yeah. Quad, shoulders, tiny yeah. waist. Freaking go get it. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is a weakness. Yeah, that's how we're training. Yep. When you have no weaknesses, train everything like a weakness and just go freak. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. You're, training, so Bro you're training with Brooke, your friend this week? 
Yep. So you'll get that on YouTube's. Yep, you guys will see see me training with Brooke. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Uh, we're almost at torture room here and the hop. So you guys will see Miguel and we'll uh, do some work. Let's do it. All right, torture room, Miguel in the building. Yo, what's up? How you doing? Good. How's everybody doing? Doing good, doing good. Matt, how you doing under there? <laughs> good. You are uh, very red. Yep, every time. The latest fix, if people want to know what tool I use to work on Matt, right here, the Myo Grip. You can pick one up, myogrip.com. Really good tool for muscle scraping. Cool. That looks very painful. That's a fresh tattoo, huh? Yes. On your hand? Yes. This one hurt hard. Yeah? Yeah. What does it mean when it's a scratch? It's just bringing out the... Yeah, the there's a lot of stagnation. In, a lot of stagnation <laughs> in the muscle. So the muscle's not getting good blood flow. So that's why it gets really, really tight. So there's a lot of stagnation in there. This will open everything up. Muscles just start to move very easily. Gets a lot of fresh oxygen inside the muscle. Creates more recovery. Mm -hmm. And it cleans out that muscle tissue. So that lymphatic system is just heightened like crazy. Flushes everything out. That's why it's good to stay hydrated, especially after a massage. Mm. you touch the muscle tissue here, it's very pliable. If you touch it here, it's very dense, very mm. hard dense, so. All right, how does that feel, Matt? Good pain. <laughs> the air just leaving his body. <laughs> I can't wait for you to throw some elbows on me, Miguel. <laughs> there we go, yep. Yeah, we have, a, we have a lot of work to do with you. So, coming out of uh, prep mode. So, I'm sure the muscle tissue's been very stressed out. So. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. So just to just to clean that muscle out a little bit, get him to breathe a bit more, open up. Yeah. Like some people don't realize the stress the muscle goes under when you're in prep mode, especially show after show. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, being in that, that calorie deficit. Yeah, and I'm sure a lot of people in like contest prep like uh, neglect getting work done, you know, whether it's time or funds, but it's super important. Super, super important. Yeah, people in the amateur ranks, a little bit in the national division, like no, walk, people right? don't get as much tissue work done. But I've learned uh, uh, people in the pro league, yeah, they, they take care of their body because, you know, they have to. Yeah. So it just presents a better package, you know, a cleaner, polished look. Yep. Damn. This, wow. This is like so Best that looked afterwards. <laughs> right? I didn't get this fucked up this time. Really I didn't really get this fucked up this time. You, you're pretty, you're pretty red there. there. <laughs> All right, we're going to scrape up the quads. Uh, so, Missy just finished doing the Boston Pro Show, coming back with a win, so that's exciting. But yeah, she's been in prep for quite some time, so a lot of the muscle is stressed out. So scraping is a good way to clean that muscle tissue out. Bring more blood flow in there, more oxygen, get the muscles to expand more. It's time to grow a little bit. It's time to grow. So. Ah. You can 
hear all that leather in there. I can hear it from here. Can you yeah. really bring the camera yeah. in? Oh. 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 Yeah, and all that right there, that's fibrotic tissue, scar tissue that gets formed inside uh, the muscle fiber. So, and that happens when it's, when the muscle's under too much stress. So, you know, being in a calorie deficit, you know, doing massive cardio, four reps, you know, drop sets, a lot of fibrotic tissue gets formed in there. So this is a good way to clean it out. Um, now that she has some room to grow in here, these legs are gonna look insane come Olympia time. So real quick guys, this leg that Miguel just worked on actually feels itchy. And that's because... All the blood flow coming through. Activated white blood cells and red blood cells coming through. So those white blood cells are cleaning all that junk up that's been like stagnant in there. You see how it turns really red? So that's all the stagnation. So it's getting all cleaned out right now. So that's what her body's going through. The more she stays hydrated, it's gonna flush out pretty, pretty quick. We know I drink a lot of water, so I'm good. <laughs> no worries there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll look into that weekend, see if I can just fly for two days to catch the show. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I mean, you could probably like even fill your two days. You know me, I even work on vacation. Yep. yep. <laughs> Came to the Olympia and worked on me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even think I'll need to buy tickets for the Olympia. Maybe just tickets for the expo. Oh, yeah. Just because I'm planning to hopefully work with as many people. Oh, yeah, you're going to be swamped. And the Dragon's Lair will be packed. Yeah. That's exciting. You know how many fans are going to be over there? Yo, you at least gotta be there at least like three weeks prior to the Olympia. <laughs> three weeks. <laughs> it's like three weeks just to just ride it out over there at, at the Dragon's Lair. Babe, you okay with that? <laughs> sure. Flex would definitely make sure you train like during that, those closing hours. Lots, lots of popping. Mm hmm Working right through there really helps Missy get that X frame look. Those shoulders, that with shoulder, that shoulder blade can just move pretty free. So when she gets into that position, you know, that position Missy likes to get into shows that X frame right through here. We work the infraspernatus and then on the border of the shoulder blade, that just helps everything just pop out so much easier. 
she goes through a lot of pain to look like that, people. Just so you know, <laughs> it's not fun. Miguel's, but got, it, Miguel's got thumbs of steel. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks fucking amazing when it's done. Are you still recording? Yeah. Miguel is... I dropped the F-bomb. I don't, I don't know if I should be doing that. But you can. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Fair I dropped that F-bomb. I, I constantly... Love it. Yeah. Um, we support F-bombs. So, Miguel, I'm your sixth client today. Yes, client number six. And then you're working for how much longer? Uh, till 9 p.m. Started at 9 a.m. today. Back to back client. So, client number six, still have four more to go. Yeah. That's awesome. That's grip strength right there, people. <laughs> this muscle is the infraspinatus muscle. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Uh. oh my gosh. Is this side tighter than the other side? Yeah. See how it keeps rolling me off there? Yeah. That's really, really tight. This is my handstand side where I go down. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. Oh. All right, guys, so I just got my butt kicked by Miguel here, torture yep. room. The torture room. <laughs> um, check out the back here. Yep. So everyone knows the torture room does muscle scraping. You want to know what we have to use for Missy, this big dog right here. Dog. So the big dog, we got the legs going on too. Um, whew, I'm feeling a little light. Lightheaded. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of that blood rush is coming through from all the scraping we did. Yeah. And I actually like uh, you guys can see my tan is like kind of coming off now. But um, where Miguel has like really scraped, I feel itchy, like my back and my legs. So mm -hmm. it's all that blood flow. Super important. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. So how are you feeling? I feel good. I needed this. The last time we did a treatment was January. 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 Yeah. So it's. Overdue. It's overdue. Just We're gonna see if we can work with her a little bit more this year, especially leading up to the Olympia. Yeah. Which we still have time to do. So. Yeah. We're gonna bust out these legs. Hit them yeah, hard. Hit that quad stomp. <laughs> Show these legs are right. damn. Look at those legs. <laughs> Look at those legs. Oh, yeah. Um. But thank you so much, Miguel. Yes. You're always like the best. And if you guys want to hit up Miguel, I'll leave everything in the description below. His IG handle, Shuma DM. You are currently working out of the Dragon's Lair, mm -hmm. is the home of the torture room. Yes, yes, Dragon's Lair in Las, in Las Vegas. Yeah. Best in the world. Oh, Appreciate yeah. you, Miguel. Oh, yeah. Appreciate Thanks, you, brother. Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> Comes across, he looks like an absolute hard ass. What are you talking about? I'm <laughs> like the nicest, nicest person, person ever. <laughs> seriously, no, I'm serious. Yeah. Nicest person ever, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, All right, brother. guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning guys first day back had some meals now we're hitting it hard we got legs today with babe you're pushing me on uh, some compound movements and then we'll probably break away because i need to do some like glute targeted exercises um i'm really excited because i think today we're gonna like ronnie coleman style right like walking lunges yeah I think that's on the agenda yep sweet <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little Cartman like so far, guy. Um, okay, so rolling it back here. I got uh, Powerade Zero Sugar with one scoop of recovery and water um, because I'm not worried about my carbs now. Uh, we're we've put the recovery back in into workout, and then here I have one scoop of. Granite Supplements Protein Powder Peanut Butter Flavor with uh, uh, <laughs> cream of rice, coconut, and powdered peanut butter. This is like the low fat concoction bowl. So because I'm like slowly getting back into like raising my calories, we're going higher carbs, lower fat. So I'm not even eating like red beef right now, red meat. Um, uh, contest prep I was eating that like one meal like at night 
but now we've like totally cut it out. We've lowered the eggs, whole eggs, lowered peanut butter, like essentially there's no peanut butter. So yeah, I'm, I'm really like excited to train today and uh, we're gonna hit up Denny's afterwards, right babe? Yep. So we'll take you guys to Denny's and you'll see what I get, you'll see what Matt gets. Um, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to do like a burger and omelet or pancakes. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see when we get there. Um, but uh, anything else, babe? Let's do it. Let's go to the gym. All right, guys. So we're warming up our leg days with hamstrings first. This is like a big John Meadows style type training. Um, he always warmed up with hamstrings. <clears throat> So I've done about four sets now. We're a little heavier here. Okay, so you'll notice that I was <clears throat> driving it in fast and hard, and then at the top, or the contraction part, I hold it for like a second, and then I slowly raise it up fast at the bottom, hold for a second, slow on the way up. Um, and as I keep playing around with my leg days, you know, as I contract it in, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll hold it for like a two second, one, two, slow on the way up, fast in, one, two, slow on the way up. So we're gonna start playing around with tempo and stuff like that, but let's move on, babe. Where are we going? Quads. Let's do it. <sighs> right, good, just warming up the quads a little bit here, just super light. Uh, we did, this will be my fourth set. And, uh, My legs are super bruised from Miguel. It's pretty crazy. And to like cinch my back in, it hurts too, because it's so bruised. Okay. I'm not trying to go heavy here, guys. Just trying to get blood in the muscles, get me primed for hack squats. I don't know if you can see like the bruises, but. Wow. I'm that asshole not wearing <laughs> shoes in the gym. <laughs> I, I gotta put my uh, knee sleeves on and my shoes back on, so yeah. Now we're working, getting into heavy hack squats now. <laughs> I mean, really heavy for me, not too bad for you. <laughs> Check out the Missy cut. Yeah. Fresh haircut. Yeah. yeah. Sexy. Yeah. That's one Me good thing about COVID. Oh. Missy's only two clients. <laughs> We're happy customers. Leo, not uh, so much. Pre leg day haircut. It's the best. <laughs> Adds a little to your hack squat, I think. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's an anabolic haircut. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, top set. Keep that back pinned to the pad. No injuries. Most important set of your whole day, right here. Fucking get it. Good. 
Good. Two more. Big, big breath here. I need help with two. Big <sighs> breath, big breath. Keep it going. Yep. <sighs> oh, that was good. You. I didn't even touch it. I got you on this one. Get it. Go. <sighs> Go. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Good set. We got to earn that fucking Denny's. <laughs> One week out post show. Four plates at a girl. Come on, Matt. Let's go. There you go. Sink that shit. Let's go. Good. Good. Come on, let's go. Get it up. Come on. Freaking easy. Easy. Come on now. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Get it up. Let's go. Up, up, up. Good. Damn it, boy. That was work. <laughs> Harder than it should be. I got my eight. Yeah, you're dieting. Damn, that haircut looks good. <laughs> Wide load. <laughs> Try, trying. <laughs> All right, dig deep, dig deep. Good. Home stretch. Two more, just dump that bar. Come on, good. Yeah. Good set. Full as fuck. Oh God. You guys will notice that I was like, I haven't done walking lunges in years. So I'm playing with the form a little bit. You'll notice that I was going really stretchy and then driving up and then I would kind of set and then I would stretch up, set. I'm just trying to figure out where I get the best stretch from. I know you see some people that just kind of like go into it, Whew. but I, uh, my, the thing for me, the biggest thing for me right now is what feels best for me. Yep. 
So if you guys like are watching and you're like- And you're very quad dominant. So you have to think about your glutes and your hammies. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of like on the angle here to like get this mega stretch. Oh. Instead of just like walking like straight on. But On hack squats and on lunges, I always think like when I get close to the bottom, I sink into it. I just yeah. tell myself that I sink into it. Yeah. And then it's all ass. Yeah. I feel it in my ass. Yeah, agreed. I do it because it gives me a little extra oomph. Yeah. But you do it because you're trying to get a bigger ass. Right. And I'm like, like super flexible. So like even just like right in front, like in this stretch, like where most people would like feel it down in their glute tie in. I have to almost like, like I have to like give myself more of a stretch. Yeah. Like angle. Well, more. that machine behind you raises up your foot. Yeah. That's next. Yeah. Big time glute killer. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're pretty vascular right now. Home stretch. Super humbling this machine. It's really nice because you can. Sorry. That's the Canadian in me. Sorry. <laughs> Apologize for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Shout Thank out you. to all Canadians. <laughs> you unhook it, right? But the angle of these pads allows you to like sink down. And then really, like, you can really push up into it. Not like chin down, but like drive up. It's amazing. I did two sets without weight. And I put 225 aside. I mean, it's absolute killer. Freaking killer. Great machine to end with, too, because you can't really hurt yourself. Yeah. I mean, even when you're gassed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, keep your core tight and everything. And yeah. yeah. Just fucking go till you can't anymore. Yeah, you won't get hurt. Whew, all right. Sorry, 
I'm going really light, guys, because I haven't done these in probably uh, two years. <laughs> We're going to wake up tomorrow and feel like we got hit with a bus. Yeah. Walking lunges <sighs> for our first time in a long time. That was a good one. Yeah, that Ooh. was a good one. All right, guys, there you have it, our leg day. Um, it was it, a good one. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, slowly getting back into the swing of things with like heavier lifting um, now that the calories have increased. Uh, Sunday mornings is honestly like one of my favorites, especially in the off season. And now we have like such a focus on like what I need to do to like be better. Um, so it was great, you know, woke up, Really early, um, I had clients, my specific clients that check in on Sundays, you know, uh, got back to them and then now we're in the gym and then now we're heading off to Denny's, which I'm stoked about. Yeah. There's uh, this one waitress, she's like the nicest, sweetest lady and she, I bet she misses us. Like we haven't seen her since Christmas when your mom came. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a while. Um, so I, I'm, I'm actually really I'm excited. actually dieting, so I can't go crazy. But this waitress, post leg day, I still have eggs and pancakes. Yeah. Uh, it's like a refeed. But this lady, like when we go in the off season, we're all like pumped. Yeah. Right? We're all jacked because it's always after lifting. Yeah. We're all like jacked and in tank tops. And then, so we look like these like fit people. <laughs> and then we order, you know, four pancakes, bacon. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Is this how healthy people eat? Yeah. <laughs> like, we're like, no, like, no, no, like, this is no, a cheat meal. Yeah, yeah this is a cheat meal. <laughs> um, she's awesome. Yeah, she's sweet. She's sweet. So yeah, you ready to go to Denny's? Yeah, ready. Let's, Let's kill it. Let's do it. Good work, babe. Thanks, babe. All right, great work, babe. How's the, uh, how's the diet going? Diet's going good. Will you show the abs? Show the tubes <laughs> this is the abs. My weakest. So like, look, in the off season, I've said this before, I can do like 30 minutes of cardio and my face starts sinking in. My arms are almost always vascular, so I don't really like bulk anymore. It's been a while, legs keep vascular. It's all about the abs. So for me, it's going good. Damn! Yeah, it's going good. Got a couple. I have time to back. I'm still built like a refrigerator. So like even my wife asks me like show abs. I'm angled like this. I'm not like this because I'm built like a big fucking. No. Guy. But it's going really good. Uh, I'm diet then down 14 pounds. It's I wasn't cool. super fat, uh, and I'm really trying to get below a 34 inch waist, which is really tiny for me. Yeah. Cause I got big shoulders, so it'll look uh, good. Really focusing here. Like all of us, we have our spot. So I get lean, 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 lean. It's the last. I get lean, 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 lean this is my last spot. So targeting right now. Got a lot of things I've been experimenting with. Yeah. It's going great. Yeah. Question. Really well. We yeah. don't have to add this if it doesn't okay. sit well. <laughs> Are you open to doing measurements? I do measurements. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm very open. Okay, cool. Let's... I got about a half inch to go. Yeah. Am I, but I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Because, I mean, this diet's been so smooth. Yeah, uh, dieting is mental. Let me just rant. Oh, there's a rant for yeah. a second. Dieting is mental. It's all, it's the easiest, honestly. Just like if someone just general population wanted to lose like 15 pounds. Yeah. It's literally, there is no outside influences. It's literally how much fucking food you stick in your pie hole. Yes. And how much you exercise. Like losing weight is the easiest thing ever. Now, bodybuilding it gets hard because your body will fight you back mm -hmm. so to like get into like prep mode or to like target that one specific yeah that is hard and you have to be strategic uh, but just dieting in general my point of this is i've started fasting which uh once a week it's done fantastic if someone would ask me five years ago i would have said impossible it's fucking not hard at all it's all mental so it's almost easier to just tell yourself you know when you're really dieting you're getting strict you start looking at that clock. Oh man, every bodybuilder knows this. Oh man, I get to eat in three hours. You start starving at two and a half because you only get 30 minutes away. 
If you just tell your mind, look, I can't eat for 24 hours, it's not that bad. Yeah. I'm not saying it's easy, I get slight headaches, but it's not that bad. So dieting, all mental, mostly mental. Yeah. The end, it gets a little strategic. You gotta have some bullets in your gun um, to get that last, and that's kind of where I'm at now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to start struggling a bit. Yeah. But it's not that hard, so I'm enjoying it. It's honestly, I like the struggle. Leg day's fucking hard on dieting. <laughs> <laughs> You're weak as shit and it's humbling, but yeah. Thank but you for asking. Dieting's going well. Let's get it, tubes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, guys, here we go. We got a uh, little, uh, what is this? Four scrambled eggs, two pancakes. Two pancakes. Love it. And then I got the bacon avocado burger with cookie dough pancakes and some fries. But, like, honestly, guys, I'm not going to eat it all. It's more just to like try those pancakes a bit and then uh, oh my god I'm so excited. Okay, <laughs> Let me feed you. <laughs> How is it? It's all going straight to that ass. <laughs> mm. Denny's never disappoints. Everything is always so good. Cheap as hell and yeah. freaking awesome food. Yeah. We gotta have a little bite of this on camera. This is the new cookie dough. Uh, cookie dough pancakes from Denny's. Tell me how they are. Okay. I gotta live vicariously through you. Yeah. It's your turn to suffer on the diet. <laughs> wow. It's uh honestly I'm I'm such a sucker. It's a ten out of ten. These pancakes are bomb. Okay guys, just to close out this video here, I wanted to let you know that I've extended my giveaway contest for the Ninja Foodie Grill and the custom Missy and Jay t-shirt. Now, I'm doing this because my uh, YouTube channel, you guys are freaking awesome, and my subscribers has gone up a lot in the last two weeks, along with my Instagram page. If you don't follow me there, please follow me, uh, at IFBB Missy Truscott. Um, I do stories and I post occasionally during the week uh, of photos and stuff, but you know I love my tubes, so <laughs> this is kind of where I'm putting all my effort into lately. But I just want to let you guys know I'm extending it until next Sunday, so it'll be March 26th, the last day for to enter into my contest, and then I will draw the name and we'll pick a winner. So how to enter that contest, if you don't already know, what you have to do is purchase from one of my sponsors, whether it's uh, Flexibel Couture, Granite Supplements, The Chicken Pound, American Dream Nut Butter, Liquid Sunrise, um, screenshot the receipt using my code, DM it to me or email it to me, and um, I'll enter you into the contest that way. I, I'm really excited to give this lucky person a Ninja Foodi XL Grill because this thing is amazing. It makes meal prepping so easy. I mean, I don't cook chicken because the chicken pound and I don't plan to ever cook chicken again, but um, like cooking beef on it, like steak, oh my gosh. I love Outback, but my steak is better than Outback, right? Oh yeah. Cook? oh yeah, oh yeah. It's great. And uh, now I'm a little like bougie, so I'll go to like Whole Foods and get like actual filet mignons and woo! This Freaking food, good. Yeah. that's really good. <laughs> but anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys are the best. Love you. We'll catch you next week. Babe, you got to hold the phone. What the frick? It came in hot. <laughs>